Okay, so we're, we're back, and um, I'm just about to push the last little bit into the line. And once it's all gone, you just uh, hold, hold the uh, connection here at the fat part. You don't want to unscrew um, it or loosen it, so hold it here at the fat part, and then just twist it off. Get another alcohol thing. Got to be a little uh, dexterous to be able to manage all these things with this in your hand and not touching anything. And uh, scrubbing the end of the line. Very, very good. Very, very well, that is. Especially these little um, threads. They seem to develop bacteria there. So, I'm just going to get rid of it so it doesn't go in the body. And that should do it. Again, you'll develop dexterity. The first time you do it, it's nice to have somebody hand the stuff to you with, that they have also washed their hands, but um, after a while you can figure it out on your own. Twist off the cap. That's sterile, so don't touch it to anything. Um, you can't just attach it. There's a bubble in here, and also it will stick and go all over. So uh, pull back a little to unstick the plunger, and then uh, pull up until you see just a little bubble come out and that is uh, it's ready to go no air in the way a little tiny bubble is not going to kill you but um, try to get it all out this is the uh, sodium chloride or saline it goes in after the medication twist it off another alcohol swab try not to see this is what happens to me I try to get my finger in there and it's skinny and tiny hard to do Wiping it off, about 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds should get it back to sterile. Can you hear that? I'm really doing it good. There we go. That's all nice. And the last is the blue uh, labeled, it's not saline, it's called heparin. And I think that's for the blood clotting, uh, to keep it from, from blood clotting thing. Uh, keep the line open and, and nice and flowing well. Same situation. This is sterile. Don't touch it to anything. And uh, pull back on the plunger so it doesn't stick. And then gently up to get the little air bubble out. And twist. It's spring-loaded in here so it might pop back. Just be careful. Like Keep it firm until you know it's um, on there. And then again, uh, you just push it, push it on in to the line. Like so, holding the fat part, you twist it off. And, and that's really it. Now you have to clamp the clamp down, don't forget. And clamp it in a different place um, on the line so it doesn't weaken any one particular spot. So um, it was kind of up here before. I'm just going to move it in the middle and click it. Voila. I, I like to have this sleeve thing kind of up a little higher. Careful when you pull it up that you don't um, pull out this end here. Because that would hurt and be bad. And kind of kind of wrap it around real light lightly and I twist it and stick it under and then fold the sock back up so that way um, nothing is directly on your skin because it's uncomfortable and um, it's protected by the little sock and that is the procedure voila